In this video, we're going to be performing a deep dive on Church & Dwight Company's dividend safety. To begin, let's talk about Church & Dwight Company's business model. Church & Dwight is a diversified consumer staples company that manufactures and distributes products under a number of well-known names like Arm & Hammer, Trojan, OxyClean, SpinBrush, First Response, Waterpick, Nair, Origel, and Extra. The company was founded in 1896 and trades with a market capitalization of $16.3 billion on more than $4 billion in annual revenues. Church & Dwight is a well-known dividend stock because of its compelling track record of dividend growth. With 23 years of consecutive dividend increases, Church & Dwight is nearly a member of the Dividend Aristocrats Index, a group of elite dividend stocks with more than 25 years of consecutive dividend increases. Looking ahead, investors interested in owning Church & Dwight stock will want to know the safety of the company's current dividend payment. For the remainder of this video, we will discuss the company's current dividend safety from four perspectives. One, its dividend safety in the context of its current earnings. Two, its dividend safety in the context of its current free cash flow. Three, its dividend safety in the context of its recession performance. Four, its dividend safety in the context of its current debt load. First, let's discuss Church & Dwight Company's dividend safety in the context of the company's current earnings. When Church & Dwight Company announced its fourth quarter financial results on February 5th, the company reported that it generated earnings per share of $2.27 during the fiscal year. For context, Church & Dwight Company paid $0.87 cents on common share dividends during the same time period for a dividend payout ratio of 38%. Using earnings, Church & Dwight Company's dividend appears very safe for the foreseeable future. Many analysts believe that comparing a company's dividend payments to its free cash flow is a better method of assessing dividend safety. Accordingly, we will now compare Church & Dwight Company's current dividend payment to its free cash flow. During fiscal 2018, Church & Dwight Company generated $764 million of cash from operating activities and spent $60 million on capital expenditures for free cash flow of $704 million. The company distributed $213 million of common share dividends during the same time period for a free cash flow dividend payout ratio of 30%. Using free cash flow, our conclusion is the same as when we used earnings to measure Church & Dwight Company's dividend safety. The company's dividend appears safe for the foreseeable future. Companies do not cut their dividends in the good times. Instead, dividends are reduced when companies experience financial difficulties. Accordingly, this section will analyze Church & Dwight Company's current dividend safety in the context of the company's historical recession performance. We believe that the best way to measure a company's recession resiliency is by measuring its earnings per share performance during the financial crisis that occurred between 2007 and 2009. Church & Dwight Company's performance during this time period is shown here. Church & Dwight Company's earnings per share continued to increase in each year during the last recession. More importantly, the company's earnings continued to cover its dividend, and it continued its multi-decade streak of consecutive dividend increases. Accordingly, we have no concerns about the company's ability to pay rising dividends during future economic downturns. The last angle that we will use to assess Church & Dwight Company's current dividend safety is by looking at the company's current debt level. More specifically, we will see how much the company's weighted average interest rate will need to increase before the company's free cash flow will no longer cover its dividend payment. Through the first nine months of fiscal 2018, Church & Dwight Company generated $79 million of interest expense and had $2.1 billion of debt outstanding for a weighted average interest rate of 
The following image shows how changes to Church and Dwight Company's weighted average interest rate would impact the company's dividend coverage as measured by free cash flow. As the image shows, Church and Dwight Company's weighted average interest rate would need to rise well above the 27% level before its dividend would no longer be covered by free cash flow. Accordingly, we believe that Church and Dwight Company's debt level is unlikely to impact the safety of its dividend moving forward. Thank you for watching today's video, which performed a deep dive on Church and Dwight Company's current dividend safety. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and like this video, which will help more people discover Sure Dividends investor education efforts. If you're interested in learning more about our systematic approach to dividend growth investing, visit our website at www.suredividend.com.